Alex Astley with AFS in episode number 77 of Money Hacks. I'm in the other corner of my office slash jam room today here behind the drum kit. And for those who know, I play a little bit of music. And for any musicians, you probably agree that the drummer is arguably the most important part of the band. They keep the beat, they keep the rhythm, they're the heartbeat, allowing the rest of the band and the audience to really groove. And when it comes to our financial lives and our money, I think that understanding and managing your financial cash flow on a monthly basis is probably akin to being the drum of our financial lives. But credit and credit scores are also a piece of that rhythmic flow in ensuring that we're making wise financial decisions for today, tomorrow, and our long-term future. And in the last week or so, there's been some interesting back and forth with a really prominent financial expert, Dave Ramsey. So he made some waves with a hot take he had regarding the stimulus. But I also read an interesting article on the Penny Hoarder blog post talking about Dave Ramsey's view that you shouldn't have a credit score. And he calls it an I love debt score. Now, first of all, we are fans of Dave Ramsey. He's, you know, the straight shooter from Nashville, Tennessee, who gives a lot of good guidance and advice around helping people improve their financial picture and eliminate uh, bad financial decision making and bad debt. So we're big supporters in that regard. But this take, I think, is a little bit beyond what I would consider good advice that you shouldn't have a credit score. And the reason why is that credit scores are really important. They are the way that financial institutions score us when it comes to our ability to make big financial purchases like a mortgage or rent or utilities. And so there are some really good reasons why you want to have a credit score and want to be continually improving your credit score. First of all, is that without a credit score and without credit, you're gonna pay deposits on everything. So if you're renting a new place, if you're signing up for utilities like you know, gas, water, cable, cell phone, without credit, without a credit score, they're gonna require you to pay first months, last months on a contract, plus deposits. You'll spend a lot more out of pocket. Poor credit score or lack of a credit score, it's gonna be very difficult to make major purchases, like buying a car if you need one, for, for transportation and you can't afford to, to pay cash for that vehicle, or more importantly, buying a property, buying a house where you're gonna need a mortgage. You, you wanna make sure you have really good credit and good credit score to do that. And then another really important factor, especially today with the heightened risk of cyber and data security, credit cards are the safest way to pay for your everyday spending. So if you're going to the gas station, the ATM, or other places where you're gonna use plastic, Credit cards can be a much safer way because if there's a something on, on that machine that could skim your device or fraudulently get access to whatever card you're using, if you're using a credit card, they can get access to your credit line, which then can be quickly disputed and then removed from your credit card by the institution. Whereas if you're using a checking account card and you're paying with plastic using your debit, if a hacker or a bad actor got access to that account, they could drain that money out of the account. And sure, you likely have protection by your bank, credit union, or other finance institution, but it may take time to get that money back in your account, and it could have a negative impact on things like bills and other payments that you're expecting to make. So we think having a credit score, having good credit, is a critical part to your financial picture, just like having a really solid drummer who can stay in the pocket, as we say, is key to uh, a really grooving sound and band. So I hope this helps. See you again next time on our next version of Money Hacks.